Hey, and welcome to another episode of the almost world famous Cactus Atlas. Today we're in the town of Carefree, Arizona, here to check out a seasonal attraction, something just in time for Halloween known as the Enchanted Pumpkin Garden, which features some carved pumpkins from the very well-known Villafane Studios. Uh, you'll probably recognize some of these things when you see them, and we're really excited to check them out here in person. So if you want to find out what this is like, we'd love to have you tag along. So let's go. So we're heading over this direction. Um, we're near, that's the actual uh, carefree sundial right in front of us. Uh, there is an entrance fee. I believe it's $15 per adult. Uh, but we will put information down in the description below with any, all pricing info as we find it out. All right, we have entered the event. When you pay your 15 bucks, you get our red wristband and a little informational paper, it looks like here. Looks kind of fun. So, so far, you're greeted by pumpkins right when you get in here. So you can see spread out all throughout here, like right over here and over here. Lots of different pumpkins actually, really cool displays. They're very masterfully carved. It's very impressive. Oh my God. That one like pulled its brains out. It must be zombie pumpkins. Yeah, these things are really super impressive. When you look at the detail on the faces, something really spectacular here. So as you're walking and looking at these little displays here, I really encourage you to take your time, go slowly and pay attention to all the little details they put into this because there are lots of little details tucked away in these little scenes over here. Look at the level of detail on these things. That is really amazing. So yeah, right back here in that area, you can actually see the pros carving the pumpkins here. One of them actually being Ray Villafane. He's actually over there carving a pumpkin. So this is really cool. I didn't realize that Ray Villafane is actually here mm -hmm. carving pumpkins. I right thought, over around yeah. there, around the corner. So it's advertised as the Ray Villafane studio. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would just be like people he's trained on how to do his techniques, but he is actually here, which yep. is and answer really questions cool. Too. Oh yeah, you can walk right up to him, mm -hmm. ask whatever you want, which is really cool. It's just so neat. We kind of hung out and watched him carving for a while and it's, it's really just relaxing to yeah. watch what they're doing. It's also amazing to see how fast Oh yeah, there's they... this giant like 800 pound pumpkin over there. Yeah. Passed by it once and it was just the skin taken off and I passed by it again probably 10 minutes later and it has eye sockets and you know, he's already making mad work out of it, so. Yeah, it's really amazing. <laughs> I don't know why we've never come to this before. I'm, we've always talked about it every year, but so far this is exceeding my expectations. I honestly didn't realize they'd have as much here as they actually do. I was kind of skeptical. So we still have more to see, 
But so far, like this is really good. Yeah. Yeah. How can you go wrong with pumpkins though? You can't. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot more on display here than I was thinking. And it's the pumpkin hoedown right here, it looks like. It's a party. They are totally partying. Oh, there's so many things on exhibit here. Aliens are people too. <laughs> I think my favorite pumpkin of the day might be that alien down there. That's so clever. so amazing how many pumpkins they have on display here. How many scenes they've made. Um, I was expecting one or two and it just kept on going and going and going. But I think we have walked all the way to the end down there by those singing pumpkins. So we're gonna make our way back. These are really cool. It's glass blowing, but they're all pumpkins. Very pretty. Look at that. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> so they actually have a lot of food here uh, at this festival. As you can see in other crafts, uh, you got some berry kebabs over here and some hot dogs, lots of good stuff. Here's one of the stands and you can see, we've got some pretty interesting things here. So we're exiting the paid for area, but there's more fun to be had down this way, we were told. Behind me is where you actually enter the paid area, but we have wristbands so uh, we can get back in anytime we want. There's a bunch of little vendors down here, some really cool stuff actually to check out. I've seen some really neat things already, but we are on a budget right now, so I have to keep my wallet safely tucked away here. There's more food over here. This looks awesome actually. Indonesian satay barbecue. Apparently there's a haunted house here, so oh, it smells so delicious down here. There's barbecue, funnel cakes over there, all sorts of delicious stuff here. Ooh, dragon farts. Now I need to know how many of you out there have had dragon farts before? If you have, please leave me a comment down below and let me know that, because I want to know. They also have lots of fun things for your kids to do to bounce around, expend some energy if you need to do that. Wow, there is just a lot of cool stuff over here. Old fashioned soda and floats, that sounds so good. Looks like they have live music, 
getting set up over here. So this is a party down here, man. So once again, the area out here outside of the pumpkin garden is free, no admission required, but you do have to pay your $15 per person to get into the Enchanted Pumpkin Garden portion, which is well worth it, we think, so far. Look at that, that that's Ray Villafane. And it looks like he's balancing rocks. What the heck? I mean, that is awesome. I totally didn't notice this when we first came in here, but look at that. Those are, I believe those are just balanced. That is amazing. Apparently there's a whole story to this having to do with the mice here at Voodoo Springs. And the mice are the ones that I think are responsible for balancing the rocks. So not only is that guy a genius at carving pumpkins, this is amazing, just it's very transfixing to watch him balance rocks and create this art right in front of your eyes. It is such a cool thing. I had no idea that he did that. Now I did ask one of the guys carving about how do they keep these things so well preserved. So they do have to occasionally go around and spray them to keep them hydrated. It is dry here in Arizona, but he did mention they're constantly carving. So it sounds like these may not last the entire time. They may swap them out with fresh ones as you always have like two or three artists always constantly carving, at least since we've been here. So if you're looking for the pumpkin garden, it's in the town of Carefree in the Phoenix area. So if you're familiar with the area, all you really do is get on Scottsdale Road and take it almost as far north as you can. And right before it ends, there's a place called the Carefree Sundial. Um, there's a bunch of shops and stuff in this area. You'll see lots of signs off of Scottsdale Road mentioning the pumpkin garden. So just keep your eye out. It's really easy to find. So we had no problems. Parking was a little bit tight, but with patience, we probably had just drove around the parking lots for maybe, I don't know, maybe like five minutes and we were able to find a parking spot in pretty quick, short order. So it wasn't too bad. And unfortunately we had to depart the Enchanted Pumpkin Garden. Uh, we were here for quite a long time. We loved it. And I wanna give you some final thoughts about our experience today. Amy and I discussed this, so I wanna make sure you know that this is both of our opinions. Out of all of the fall activities you've seen us do as of late, this hands down was our favorite. Um, it was enchanting is the best way to describe it. Um, the artistry involved with this is just amazing. The amount of detail they put into each scene is just wild. And with each pass by, you'll notice something new every time. Getting to spend time watching the artists carve pumpkins and ask questions was amazing. There's so much food, so many activities. It's very family friendly. Um, if you live in the Phoenix area, you really need to get out here and check this out. Um, I already regret not doing this in years past. Uh, this will become a tradition for Amy and I, for sure, as long as we live here in the Phoenix area. Uh, so anyway, there you have it. Enchanted Pumpkin Garden, you must, must come check it out. The perfect autumn slash Halloween activity. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that notification bell to stay informed of whenever we release new videos, which we do all the time. You can also find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the name Cactus Atlas. Well, sadly, we're having to pry ourselves away from the Enchanted Pumpkin Garden, but we will be back and we will absolutely be back on another adventure that we hope you will join us on in the near future. So until then, take it easy. Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs>